Good afternoon and welcome back to Buster Boom. Pre-season's over, we're back to the league, Bromley at home and then Barnes away in the National League. Yes, I am giving you two games and we have made some signings. The board, for some reason, increased my wage budget to 25 grand. We're only spending 11 of it. We could still do a lot in the transfer markets, but I think we have made some quality signings, improved the team all around. They haven't criticised a single one of the signings I've brought in. We've still got transfer budget, we've still got loads in the bank. I don't know what's going on. But let's get straight into the transfers. And I do believe, there we go, we're going to have to go back to the end of last season for the last few. Okay, so here we go. Chris Smith came in on a free transfer from Kings Lynn. Three-star current ability defender, four-star potential, decent backup. I say backup because you'll see why he's a backup. He was a, he was considered one of the best players when I brought him in. Liam Higgin, Higgins coming in on a free. He's a winger. Great potential, three-star, backup again. Uh, he, first touch is eight <laughs> Cross and ten A winger I have better crossing than that Believe me Bit of pace though It's funny how pace works down here Because honestly you'll see players You know are still really really quick But are rubbish at football uh, Who else then First choice goalkeeper came in Jack McIntyre Two and a half star Coronel's ability Four and a half star potential He replaces Reese. Um, was it Reese Taylor it Was Reese Taylor wasn't it Who has now left the club We are looking another one, he is down as a breakthrough prospect, so we'll look at a goalkeeper, a proper one. And then we brought in Finley Hertford Lockhart, Lockett from Bolton. Again, a winger, can cover both wings. Three and a half star current ability, four, five star potential. He comes in alone from Bolton. He could be a decent player, only paying £250 a week. Can't complain at that. Then on to the better players. Well, some of them are good anyway. Frankie Masundo has come in from Doncaster. Three and a half star currents. We'll see five and a half star potential on loan. He's going to come back and sit at centre-back. It's funny that he's natural at centre-back, but he's considered a better right-back. Weird. Anyway, Hassani's come back in. He's going to cover that. He's probably going to be the deep-lying player. Sorry, the half-back here. So he could be the defensive midfielder. Because while Denny's come back in, we've got better players now. Connor Stanley was the big one. I really wanted this boy. Four-star current ability, five-star potential. Currently considered a leading player for National League teams. Look at him, he's decent. Crossing 10, yeah. I know, I know, I know. Dribbling 12, first touch 11, technique 12, work rate 14, off the ball 11. He is going to be a superstar in this league. I I usually sign him every time he gets released by United. Then Max Haygarth. He comes in from Brentford. Again, Three and a half star currents with five star potential. Another good player. Can play as the Mazala down here, advanced playmaker, deep line playmaker. Can play as advanced uh, midfielder. Uh, sorry, uh, an attacker midfielder. Can play as a striker as well. He's got it all. I mean, even as a false nine, look at that. Brilliant. Jack Hackett. He's coming from, where do we get Jack Hackett from? He came in from Southport. Well, he came in from Sunderland. He was on loan at Southport last year. Uh, central midfielder. Can do all sorts, but he's three-star current ability, four-star potential. He's just going to be a backup in there, but he's a good player. Uh, Lee Connolly, look at this boy. Can play as an attacking midfielder here. Can play as a striker. Brilliant player. I think this is a real quality player. He came in from Alloa. No, he didn't. He came in from Sunderland. He'd been out, he'd been out on loan at Alloa. I'm going mad. Anyway, look at the finishing. He's got better finishing than our strikers. Determination 17, flair, off the ball, agility. He's got he's got 13 pace, probably the fastest player we got as well. Good player. And then we got, I'm going to struggle with this one, Longaloo. Longaloo. He's a winger. He's coming on loan from, did we come on loan or we bought him? Oh, we got him from Newcastle. I just thought we'd come on loan. Bought him. Now, he is a double-edged sword here. He is good on the left wing here. But he can also play at left back, so he'll be covering this, ha you know, left hand side completely. Uh, we did re-sign Zoom. Uh, attack. He can play on the right as well, which is good. I am going to try and bring in a couple more players, but the squad is looking um, large because we had Denny back on loan. We Billy Batch came back in on loan as well for the rest of the season. Three and a half star runs, but he five star potential for Fleetwood. Can't complain on him, and we have really. Really up the ante here. I think we've got a great team. You look at Tony McMahon, can't even get on the bench. Souza can't get on the bench. Devaney, Hatfield, Michael Collins can't get on the bench. We, I think we've upgraded everywhere. So, and remember, Christian Gessen's there, another great player. We've had bids in for Henry. He can't even get in the team at the moment. We had £12,000 bid in. Now, I wasn't accepting that. I want 100 grand for him, but 
It did come in, and I, I rejected it. And this is where it leaves us media prediction for the end for this season. We take a look at the National League. We are season preview. We're expected to finish eighth. Now they've asked me to battle bravely against relegation here, but eighth, you know, I'm pleased with that. The other team that came up with was Geisley. Um Weldstone <laughs> there as well. And Weldstone, Weldstone are in the division this year, aren't they? But look at that. Teams coming down, Port Vale and South End, automatically are considered the, the better teams. I don't think South End should be, to be honest, because they are really in trouble financially. But anyway, that's how it looks, and this is how we're, what we're going with this season. Um, first of all, I am training a second tactic. It's this one here. So obviously, Hastani won't play there. Hagarth will go there, or Connolly. Uh, but we're going with this. Charman up front, Stanley right wing, Hunford... I'm going to really struggle with this one. It's, a, it's Hereford Lockett. I'm just going to call him Lockett. Haygarth in the middle with Ngesson. Hassani sitting just behind him. Zoom signing a new contract. Back, Masondo, Hunt and McIntyre in goal. Again, we are looking for another goalkeeper. He's only considered breakthrough. But like I said, we got loads of money. we probably get that in in the, in the next few days. I and mean, we could have been handed our worst first game of the season as well. Bromley. You know, it's not the worst team in the world to be playing. Number, why are we number one? Go away. Can you imagine your left winger being number one? That's weird. Anyway, let's go to the match here. We should be fit. We've won all our, well, all but one of our pre-season games. Having a look at their team, Bromley. Do you remember anyone from Bromley? Luke Coulson rings a bell. Did he play for, did he play for Ebbsfleet when we played in the Champions League? Nathan Bliss, it's the Champions League. The National League playoffs, Tramia. Nathan Bliss, obviously, you remember there. Um, that's about it, I think. I'm sure Ox and SWA will tell me in the comments who else has been there and played against Tramia. So come on, lads, show me what you can do. Let's get out there, eh? Let's get on National League. Title challenge off to a good start. Hunt, who's now playing right back in place of McMahon. And you can see how far we've come when Hunt was considered a five star player or four and a half star player. And now he's just a three star right back. That's how much we've improved the team. McIntyre. Out to Hunt. Hunt to Stanley. Stanley gets dispossessed. I expect a bit more from you there, Stanley, lad. He was the big sign and the one I really wanted. Uh, so he better work out. Stanley gets down the wing. Into Charman. And Gesson. Hunt. We did keep Charman as well. Obviously you've noticed there. Charman. Back to Haygarth. Haygarth into Charman. Can he finish? He can. It's 1-0. First game of the season. We're not even three minutes in. Um, we've started like we left. Well, as we finished. Charman scoring goals. Uh, unfortunately, Charman, just look at this for like a little bit of play here. Hagarth beats his man, and that's a lovely little ball through. Hagarth's going to be a great player as well. I can't believe some of the guys we picked up here. Um, Charman didn't finish top scorer in the National League North. Um, Kane Fear scored in the semi final and final. So he lost it by one, which is a bit annoying because I think it's unfair that he gets to play two games extra. So. Yeah, but having said that, he scored 48 goals last season or something ridiculous like that. Kelly to Kizzy. Thomas. Come on, boys, get the ball off him. Batch picks it up. Back to McIntyre. Don't mess up, McIntyre. Back of Yogo. Tries to play it through to Charman. He's knocked it on, headed it on there. See, that's where I want to play it. Have another striker up front, so eventually. Herford Lockett brings it forward. Has a shot, just over the bar. But we are showing signs of being a good team. Now, I don't know how br good Bromley should be in this um, save, but, you know, I'm, pl I'm pleased the way it's going. Bingham. Coulson. Burley. Oh, boy, he's got a foot in. Bingham. Out to Coulson. It's a poor ball into the middle. They just don't seem to know what they want to do. Um, see this big gap behind the goal? Well, this is where we're developing... The ground, so that should be done the next couple of weeks, which would be nice. Charman picks it up, back to Ngesson. Ngesson into her, and there we go. Lock it with the goal. Some really good play again. We are not now. We are playing direct counter, but we're starting to knock the ball about really well. We I mean, look at this for a ball. Charman back to Ngesson, and he's already seen the run. And it's a great little finish into the bottom corner at two 0 We we're going up, boys, and. The two percent of girls that watch us. <laughs> Hunt, Stanley, it's hoofed away. That's proper National League football. Batch with a good challenge, and it's all the way back to Cousins. Cousins with a big ball forward. Masundo, Bakayogo, Batch, 
McIntyre. Out to Hunt. Hunt. Masundu. Stanley. Into Ngessen. Hagar. Look at this. It's just fluid football. Stanley picks it up again. He drives on. Okay. Hey, right, Connor. No, no more of that. Or you'll be coming off for Henry. Bingham. Ball into the box. Oh, it's hit the bar. That's the best chance they've had, really. But plenty of highlights here. I mean, we are the better team. Stanley, good ball into the box. And he, you know what I need to do? I need to fix my tactics or for free kicks and corners. Obviously, we've got new players and I haven't set them up. And guessing, Charman. Charman again. Hassani. Stanley. Gets it out wide to Hunt. Hunt. Back into and guessing. And guessing to Hunt again. Back to and guessing. That's a good shot, but it's... It was saved. I mean, it was going wide anyway, I think. We got away with one there. Stanley, corner into the box, it's headed away. Batch. I'm not sure I want Connor Stanley on um, corners when he's got a 10 of crossing. Cro- crossing of 10. <clears throat> anyway, 6% possession. You've had more shots. We're winning 2-0. I am happy with that. Keep it up, lads. Keep it going. I only said, like I said, I only said I wanted them to avoid relegation this year. So, this is a bonus. I mean, I think... Again, the business we've done is great, and we kept some of the spine. You know, obviously not... Hassani was there last year, and we do have Denley there too, on the bench. Um, Strikers the same. We've got Nicky Hunt still there, Billy Batch, Zoom. So we kept a few of the players. And the others are on the bench. Stanley gets... He cuts him. I was going to say he was going to go out wide and put a cross in there, but he's just had a shot, bizarrely. He's trying too hard. He's on a 6.9. Um, he's on a seven now, so they're all playing well. And it, all the signings that come in, all the fans are saying we've got a devastating forward line, which I do think we have. Stanley again, he get get a lot of the ball, isn't he? So in guessing and guessing, back to Haygarth, back out to Stanley, put it gets to Charman and guessing, Charman again and guessing again. If that had gone in, that would have been a mate. Oh, that would have been some hit from a guessing, and even the rebound would have been a great goal. Guys, are you getting done there by Wrexham? We can't get beat by Wrexham, can we? Charman and Gesson. Haygarth tries to get out wide to Stanley, but Stanley picks it up anyway. It's a good tackle. Gets it to Charman. Lockett. Haygarth. Charman. Lockett. Haygarth again. Hassani. Haygarth. Gets a good ball through to Lockett. Oh, he should have finished that. He really should have finished that. Dulwich Hamlet. They're a good team to do a save with. I love their kit. They're just dead pink, aren't they? I haven't made any substitutions here, which is a bit mad. We'll, we'll do this quickly. Whoops. And there we go. A 2 0 win on the opening day of the season. 21 shots to their five. We're not going down this season, not by a long way. Uh, good win, boys. Well done. I am happy with that. I mean, it's going to show you how the table looks, but obviously there's only been one game. Dulwich Hamlet, Chesterfield. Darlington, Wellstone, Wrexham, Torquay, Barnet, Dagenham, Redbridge. Was there any draws? A couple of draws in there as well. Um, Dover, you expect to be down there, wouldn't you? Dover had a couple of good seasons in the National League and then just went downhill. I think it was because of the finances, but anyway, on to the next game against Barnet, which should be more of a challenge. I'll see you in a second. Welcome back then for the Barnet game. No changes at all to the team. We have gone down to cautious rather than positive. We're going to go with Charman. Lockett, Stanley, Haygarth, Ungesson, Hassani, Bakayogo, Batch, Masondo, Hunt, and McIntyre. I do have another right back coming in on loan. I really do need another left back as well. I know I have. Where's he gone? Longolo, who can play down there as well. <sighs> Defence is looking the weakest part, to be honest, but our forward line is great. And Gesson's actually gone down in rating as well. Strange. But anyway, we'll get into this game. Hopefully it'll be a much tougher game, this, to be honest. It did say go very defensive, so I'm expecting these to be really good. Quick look at their team. Do I recognise anyone? No, not really. JJ Hooper. I can't, surely I'd remember him. Uh, Mason Clark. Nah, not really. Not really. So, let's have a look. Yeah, go out there and carry straight on your form. Yeah, give me that. I said I don't mind losing. That's a daft thing to say, I know, early on, but... You know, they're going to be a better team than us at the moment. They're established in the National League. They're a fairly big team for the National League, as we've hit the post <laughs> really early on. Okay. Mason Clark gets away. Bakayogo picks it up. Maybe I'm really underestimating us. 
And again, it seems to be all us. Look, I have four shots there too. I take a draw. <laughs> I take a draw now. Wildstone winning again. 4-1 away at Eastley. Anyway, I'm not saying that guy's name, but it is Leslie. How are you? Von Guck? Yeah, that's his name. Leslie. Come on. Press them out. We press them all the way back there. Batch gets the header away. Lockett gets it. Runs across the field. He's a big lad, Lockett, isn't he, for a winger? Stanley. Plays it into Nguessen. Nguessen. Back to Stanley. Look at this for football. Nguessen's got it again. Haygarth. Out to Hunt. Hunt. <laughs> Just waits for his man to go down. And he's then, and it's disliked. I knew he was offside. He seemed absolutely miles offside there. I did. That's why I didn't celebrate. But look, Hunt just waits for his man to go down there and then puts a ball in. Yeah. You know what? You could park a bus. The amount of you know, Kane Felix is scoring again. I was going to go with the bus analogy, parking buses in the gap. It didn't really work though. We're going to go in a half time nil nil, which is interesting. We've had more of the ball as well. We're doing all right though. Keep it up, lads. I think goal will come. We've got the better of it. Could be a shorter episode than I was thinking this, so there's no more highlights. Um, Charmans, Lockhart. Lockhart's not having a good game, is he? Let's get him off. Lockhart, where are you? Get on Longello, and he's more of a... He's more of a winger. So he's going to be coming on as a winger there. Get more balls into the box for Charman, rather than cutting inside. With two wingers. It should shoot, shoot Charman. And Guess was knackered. Hey, he got knackered. Let's sort that out. Um, it's getting guessing off for Denny. Denny can play. Denny can be more of a box to box midfielder. We'll do that. You know, I'm happy enough with a nil nil. First, first two games of the season, four points. You've got to be pleased with that, haven't you? Zoom and Nicky Hunter knackered. See, the the issue is that most of the teams in this league now are full time, and we're still only part time. We've had the better of the game though. 61% possession, we had a better XG just, and we've had more shots on target, or well, same shots on target, the same shots. But, you know what, I'm happy with it. Everybody thought we get beaten today, well done, they got it wrong. I, you know what, I'm pleased with that. Four points in the first two games, excellent. Wrexham are above us, ugh, ugh, they can't be going up. But yeah, happy enough. Did we go out and find a goalkeeper now? Paul Vale next, look at that. Poor Vale started badly, haven't they? The 14th. They've won one, lost one. That's all it takes. Who's offering for my... Henry, people keep offering me money for Henry. And he's not going anywhere. There he is. This, there's the guy. Right back. Look at this. He's a good right back. Uh, and he's young. Young and hungry. Plumber, let's say... The 40, no, I'm not. Reject that. £14,000. Get out. Anyway, when do we come back next? Let's have a look. Going to play a few games here. And I don't know who are the big teams in the in this league now. I've no idea. But you know what? You might come back for these Halifax and Hamilton and Waterlooville if I get enough games played. Oh, that's what I'll do. Hopefully we can see this good form again. We won't we drew one. Okay, we've not played anyone really. And this this game here is great. Eighteen thousand what's it, one thousand eight hundred and forty eight there. So look at that, we're getting more at home than Barnet, which is good, who are a full time you know, full time team, which I'm made up with. So anyway, you are enjoying this because I'm enjoying doing it. I mean, I'm really good at the players we brought. I'm brilliant. Well, actually, just just show you. Um, this is why I'm made up with the players we brought in because look at the wage budget. We've still got twelve, well, eleven grand left in the wage budget. Thirteen in the wage budget. We're going nowhere near it. I have never been like that. I'm always just over it. So why I've got this wage budget, I'll never know. But I'm not complaining. But I am made up with it. So a great. I think we brought some great players in. We definitely strengthened the squad. And I'm looking forward to the rest of the season. And if you are enjoying this, please hit like, subscribe. Thanks very much for watching. And I'll see you all again tomorrow.